Hello, everyone. This is Ty Slatter. Antonio Turner. Welcome to another edition of Heat Check. Brought to you by GTA Sports Network. If you haven't already, make sure you follow GTA Sports Network on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Make sure you follow GTA Heat Check on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, GTA Sports. And don't forget to subscribe to GTASportsNet.com for all things in the world of sports. We got a very special guest with us today. Uh, I, I, I cannot explain enough. <laughs> These guys have been trying to get on here for at least um, – well, we've been doing this for over a year now. So About a year, at least six months. At least six months out of this year, he's been trying to get on here. We finally got a hold of this guy, Kerry Daniel. How you doing, Kerry? Pretty good. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Oh, we're going to have some we gonna have some fun today. <laughs> I apologize for eating on my first my first special <laughs> I'm not going to show the food because we ain't got hey, the man, look, right look, now. look. It's 2020. We anything all got is possible. Anything is possible, right? <laughs> right? They can't get the free sponsorship. No free promotion right now, so. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Uh, it's just, uh, we're going to black that out. It's just pizza. Yeah, it's just pizza. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Tone, I just saw you at the barbershop. Shout out to Uncle Jay, man. We just, we I did. just, yeah, um, and, um, when we was in the so, chair, I told you I was going to address this James Harden situation first. And that was first on the list for you. It was. Until it was. about 1 o'clock, 1.30 this afternoon. Eastern 30 minutes ago. <laughs> Giannis Antetokounmpo did what the league didn't expect him to do. He just pretty much told the whole media, all of y'all, psych. Because everybody swore up and down he was leaving. Right. Stephen A. Smith, Max Kellerman, Shannon Sharp, Skip Bayless. The jump, all of them. All of y'all. And, 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 and. All of y'all wrong. All of y'all wrong. Because Giannis just signed for five years, $220 million. Back with the Bucks. Kerry, you're the guest today. I'm gonna let you go first. Yeah, you go first on that one. I don't your think thought, thoughts, Kerry. Your thoughts. I honestly don't think there's much else to say about that. Like, you thought he would? Yeah, he's there. You thought he was there? Why not? They have moving pieces for him. Um, he's already won two MVPs there. He seems very loyal to the city. He gave no indication that he's not going anywhere else. He gave no media indication. I give you the loyalty for it. It could the thing that I'm happened right. in the bubble. In my personal opinion. It was very circumstantial. A lot of teams turned up in the bubble. The the Bucks just had just ran into a very very hot Miami Heat team. Don't don't just let's not excuse. The Bucks weren't the only team they beat. They beat the Celtics. They also who else did they beat? I'm trying to think. They also beat the Nets. No no no, no they didn't beat the Nets. They beat the Pacers. They swept the Pacers. They don't count though. No no no. Wait, wait, let, let them fit. Let Tom. Let them finish. Okay. We we gonna, we gonna okay. address that. We gonna address that. I got. Okay. Some. In, in my defense, it, it wasn't a fluke. The Heat were actually – they beat some pretty decent teams. These teams didn't get to the playoffs for no reason. Okay. So – Shut the world right here. So, I'm going to so, say, I heard no media I, indications. I, I'm not surprised. I'm very happy for Giannis. So, I'm going to go first, Tom, because my memory ain't the greatest. I got three kids. My memory is shot. So my I'm going to go first. I'm going to go first. What's going on here? I'm going to go first. <laughs> To break down what he just said, because he wasn't all the way wrong, but let the, record show. Wrong. let the record show. I had Miami as a sleeper team last year going to the finals. Tone, you remember this? I know this. I just want to make sure I go on record and say I, 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 was, I was pulling for them before any, the media hadn't picked it up. Nobody, they said Jimmy wasting his time in Miami. They're not going to win nothing. Everybody was counting them out. They said Jimmy's nice, but he ain't that nice. He's not top tier. He's not this. He ain't no leader. He's a bad locker room guy. They was talking cash. What right. nobody trusted Miami this year. I had them as my sleeper team. I said, Y'all gonna right. sleep with Jimmy and Jimmy gonna show y'all. I'm a dog. And when you let a dog go to loose, he gonna get what he gonna get. Now, to answer what you just said, the Milwaukee Bucks, I wouldn't consider them unfortunate. I wouldn't consider I would consider them complacent. I would consider them lazy. I would consider them mediocre. And the reason why I say that, and this is my team, I, so I know this is a I'm shot. I'm about to say, because you're the biggest. But, but, but hold on. Right? But let's go back, because I addressed this in the bubble, during the bubble. I said, the Bucks got comfortable being number one. What happens is, once you get to the top of the mountain, you're no longer hungry because you have nothing else to gain outside of a championship. Well, that's true. So hold on. So so the Bucks 
they know they're going to beat the East. They know we're the beast in the East. No, Nobody can top us right now. And this is because KD was injured. Right, yeah, KD, Kyrie. John Wall was still out the picture. We didn't know if he's going to come back and be anything close to what he was. I'm going to address that later on. We're going to get to that. I'm going to say he comes. I'm going to definitely talk about that one later. I'm going to definitely uh, talk about that one. I got them on my list. That's what we're going to talk about the Rockets in general. But, but hold on. But, but, but back to what Kerry said, because I don't want – I don't want that. He said a valid point that I wasn't even going to bring up. He brought up something valid. The Indiana Pacers were not the Indiana Pacers in the bubble. Thank you. Period. I agree. <laughs> Jeremy Lamb – Tore his leg up in three different places. Okay, he may not ever be the same based on his injuries. Okay, right. Number one, Oladipo ain't been the same in the last two or three years. If you want to be honest, since he got the most improved player. So when you say, "Oh, they beat the Pacers," that's what we, I'm with you on this one. Yeah, Pacers don't that, really count. That was, don't that, count was, that was that was open gym. That was scrimmage. Yeah. That was yeah, that, just, that one don't count. <laughs> that one damn sure don't, don't count. Nobody. Now, now the team that they beat that I actually won a lot of money on. Like this was like the best series. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. This is yeah. this was by far the best <laughs> series. Like, um, yeah, the Boston Celtics and Miami Heat. I won a lot of money on that. <laughs> I we won both a lot of money on that joint. That what was they, a great series. Seven, didn't they? Huh? Didn't they, go, they won a six. They won a six. They went, no, they won seven. I thought it was seven. They went seven, big dog. They went yeah. seven. I I should know. They oh, oh they went seven. <laughs> well, because we we both was betting and we was going back and forth. That was some good money there, boy. Hey, hey man, listen. He hit on the heat. I hit on Boston. Great <laughs> series. Great. Because I had Boston beating them. Be honest. He, I did too. I did too. I, I just remember Bam's really big game six. That's why. Well, yeah, yeah. You know, that's it was a good game, game, but they, but the, his his big game six forced the game seven. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, he had you know like forty something like that. Right. So, so, so to your point, the Bucks being complacent, you get comfortable, you get laxed. Your mindset is we're the best in the East. They don't deserve to be here. But what I tell you about the Bucks though this season, huh? What I say about the Bucks coming up this season? What do I say or what did you say? No, what did I say? They're gonna drop though. They're not gonna be the one. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, we're gonna get to it. Let me, let me, finish, let me finish this point. I want, I want to explain yeah. why he, he's what he said was important. It, it gives us context as to why they made the moves they just made. It's basically the precursor to where we at now. Yeah. So, because they lost in the second round and they weren't competitive with Miami, Miami out hustled them, out played them, out rebounded. Giannis went down with an injury. Chris Milton only had one good game, and he's supposed to be the All Star. I, you know, you know how I feel about him. You know how I feel about that. Guy. You know how I feel about that. Guy. He says that I'm shocked you said his name. And then hold on, hold on, hold on. It gets better. Eric Bledsoe, somebody that is dependable in the regular season, just got a big check not even two years ago from Milwaukee. Disappeared completely in the playoffs. George Hill had to not only produce his numbers. He had to produce Eric's numbers on top of his numbers. You're asking a veteran to play like a young, hungry pit bull, and that's not him. George Hill's not young. He ain't no spring chicken. He been in the league for he, he been in the league since Paul George was actually decent. That's a long time, man. That's a playoff. Fee. That's a long time. Get before playoff, playoff fee. fee, before he was playoff fee. Oh, okay. Before that, he didn't come up with that name until he got the OKC. So this is pre playoff fee. Oh, uh, Pacers playoff. This is Pacer playoff. P. This is oh MVP. <laughs> I'm going up against Miami LeBron PG. Right. I'm getting the torch from Danny Granger PG. Are you right? I'm Are messing right? around with Roy Hibbert's wife PG. <laughs> okay, no, I, 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 I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Bring that up. <laughs> the thing is, I like all your points. I understand your points. I get it. The personality of a player says a lot about what their destination decision will be. Okay. Yeah, I will get to that. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead and bring it out. From somebody who's very loyal to their hometown, who loves right. Indiana, mm-hmm. um, Giannis, to me, is a very humble young man. He's very gracious to be in the league. He's happy to just be here. And right. to see where he's at now, to see that he won two MVPs, the fifth player of the year, He's appreciative to be here. He, he, and the okay. big thing is, a guy from where he shouldn't be where he's at. So that's that's you, all. You nice. brought, 
Huh? That's all I got. How long he been in the league? 2013? Seven, seven years. years. So, hold on. Saying. So, we something Kerry alluded to something I was going to bring up, too. Yeah. Giannis is from a country where loyalty is everything. I got you. Not what I was alluding to. No, That's I just getting to. Right, right. right. I, I heard that. So I understand what he's saying. Right. But so <laughs> the whole media outside of us, the whole media forgot Giannis is not an American. Yeah. His, well, I'm not surprised that so he's his value it. on loyalty. Yeah. Is higher. Yeah, I'm not surprised at all that he signed the contract. He's the epitome of a ride or die. Like, yo, you my man. Yeah. I'm a ride till we die. Like, we in this thing. Like, eventually, you need that ring, though, man. I, I, I think, I think honestly, and I'm if not he sure ever did, if he ever did leave, it would be on a situation where yeah, the franchise has no longer tried to help him win. Like when they completely stop trying, then he'll leave. But as long as they're still showing, hey, we we got you, Drew Holiday. Uh, we moved Bledsoe. We sent George Hill to OKC. Uh, we we tried to get Badanovich, but the deal fell through, and you know how that situation right. went. Um, Does what he have now enough we, for a title? Huh? Does what he have now enough for a title? No, no, absolutely yeah. not. No, no, no. Is it enough uh, to mm, get there? Mm, mm, mm. I'm sorry. Is it enough to get to the finals? No. Maybe. No, slim to none. Slim to none. And I'm a Buck. I'm a Bucks fan. I like yeah. the Bucks. I, you know how I feel. Like but Giannis supposed to be the superstar. He's supposed to be the reason they go. I'm not. Everybody else are, are pieces. No, stop right there. The league we're in right now, and Kerry knows that's why you're laughing. The league we're in right now. You telling? I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask you a question with a question. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do you like. I'm gonna do you like an ex girlfriend. I'm gonna ask you a question with a question. Check this out. If LeBron and AD are in the West. Right. AD and Kyrie are in the East. Are you telling me that Chris Middleton is a number two to match up with AD and LeBron? I never, are you I telling? No, 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 no. For your answer, that for your answer, that are you telling me that Giannis and Chris Middleton, your so-called All Star, can match up KD and Kyrie's production? Are you telling me by happenstance that Chris Middleton and Giannis Antetokounmpo can match Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo with a new contract? I don't, Hold on, Drew, I don't that. Are you Chris telling me that Chris Milton and Giannis Antetokounmpo can match Kawhi Leonard and Paul George when he wants to be Paul George? When he wants to be in okay, so to your point, to your point though, Chris Milton is he not know the answer. He's, he's looking, no, looking to your point. Okay. He According to you, he's not number two. He I think Drew Holiday's the number two. Now huh? Drew Holiday is the number two option. Look. Who who? Who? Drew Holiday should be the number two option. Right now, with all the factors, if you got pick one, with all the factors he just said, with all those plus the young dogs, I didn't even name all. I didn't even name all of them. I know. Right. I didn't even name all of them, including the. You got hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna give the, I'm gonna give the young gunner some props. You got Trey Young, John Collins over here. First of all, I got them in the playoffs. You got exactly. You got <laughs> oh what the wait, 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 wait. Zoom just sent me a notification. But, yeah, me too. Yeah, just close it out. Close it out. It ain't okay. Cool. Uh, uh. So you still have uh Damon CJ in Portland. Oh yeah. You still got Rudy Gobert, even though I personally don't care for him with Donovan (laughs) in Utah. Um, and that Donovan's coming back. And then people over here talking crazy about John Wall and Demarcus Cousins. How dare you? How dare you? (laughs) Disrespectful. It's not about disrespectful. Then it's hold injuries. on, you got hold on, hold on. You got Russell and Bradley Beal in the same conference. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop, stop. Then you got I mean, in, in, thirty to twelve, though, huh? He averages thirty and twelve. Look, <laughs> who averaged thirty and twelve? Giannis. I know. Uh, what does Bradley Beal average? What is what is Bradley Beal and, and Russell average? More than Chris Milton and Giannis put together. <laughs> not let not Russell last year. Ooh. Russell's not with James Harden this year, sir. Uh, his birth certificate getting older though, sir. Uh, sir, he's a he better player than James Harden, Harden, sir. He's what? He's a better team player than James I didn't Harden. Say he wasn't. I never say he wasn't. Right then, 
All right. See, he, see, Carrie, you got to forgive me. You're sitting next to a James Harden fan, and I don't like James Harden. And you know I don't like James Harden. You see who I'm wearing, though. See, I'm... I know who you're wearing, so you know that that team that you're wearing on your lovely hoodie over Nobody there, your little merch. Lakers, in my opinion, you so know what time it is. Lakers, I Lakers have a perfect situation, a perfect storm. I know me and you was talking about this last year. Oh, this championship window is going to close, and if LeBron don't get a ring this year, he ain't going to never get another one again. You're wrong. Well, yeah, they might you're wrong. Be. I don't know about you're that. Wrong. And I'm going to tell you why you're wrong. I'm going to tell you why you're wrong. Carrie, I'm going to let you get back in on this, but I got to get this off real quick because this is a Laker fan. I got to talk to him. He <laughs> said, once KD comes back, we didn't know Clay was going to get hurt again. That changed sure. everything. That yeah. changed everything. That gave LeBron what we call a slim chance to a greater chance based on Clay Thompson not playing. Because yeah, KD and Kyrie, as talented as they are, if you put them in the ring with the Lakers, best of seven, the Lakers will win in seven games. Maybe against six, depend, depend, because Kyrie and KD mentally are not strong oh, enough to Brooklyn. go up against AD and LeBron, period. Mentally. I didn't Kyrie say they couldn't good. score. I didn't say they couldn't defend. I said mentally. You're dealing with two betas trying to be alphas on More the same Kyrie damn team. And on the other side, LeBron and AD, they complement each other. Their games complement. And mentally, AD's a beta, so he follows the alpha. LeBron being the alpha leads them to the championship. So as long as you got an alpha that knows his role and a beta that knows his role, you don't have no clashing. Mm-hmm. KD and Kyrie are friends right now. You see how Russell and James Harden was friends last year. I don't think they're the same friends this year. They might be cool, cordial, but they ain't they ain't work, they ain't working together no more. They ain't coming over for Thanksgiving. They ain't co-workers no more. Boy. Yeah. Go ahead, Kerry. Yeah. Not totally much agree. Yeah. I totally much agree. Lakers I- going back to the finals. I'm just gonna call it now. Like they going back to the finals. <laughs> they going back to the finals. Crazy for me about that. <laughs> they going back to the finals. You I, I see that too. I got, I got three, I got three words for you, Carrie. Before you jump in, Talon, Horton, Tucker. Well, look, they gotta use them though. They just use them in the preseason right now. Talk about. Oh no, 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 no. They, Talon, Talon is your next Alex Caruso. Same way Alex Caruso came out of nowhere. I mean, I saw LeBron. Said, LeBron said he's a, he's got upside. When LeBron right says you're going to be special, he's going to make sure that he makes sure he was right. He ain't going to yeah, go out to social media and say that yeah, if he wasn't going to Well, beat. they got better anyway, though. We talked about oh, that. Oh, damn, Tone. Oh, I forgot to mention. Kyle Kuzma's gone this year. He's oh, out. Shit. It's over. I'm sorry. Oh, about he it. has to go. He's cut. We talked about cut. it. It ain't because, all his fault, either, but he got to go. Because Ty- Talon is going to take those minutes. Talon's your third superstar. I would say this. Look, to wrap this up, to wrap this whole championship mm. contention talk up, everyone else is here. Mm. The Lakers are here. To talk about hey, who, Thank you. He gets it. I, he gets it. Here, no complaints about the Lakers yeah. up here. So <laughs> whenever we talk about championship contention. Now, here, now, in in and, and, and um shout out to Gilbert Arenas. Um because he really actually talked about this with uh Shannon Sharp over at Club Shay Shay. Mm. He made it very clear. Lakers are going to go back-to-back. After this season, there's going to be some changes. The league's going to go through a huge shift. That next free agency class is going to change everything. But this right. season, this is LeBron's real, true championship window. If he's going to lock in his legacy, you already said legacy is already defined, but if he's going to lock it in and get one more, this is the year. Yeah, because people don't count the bubble as a title. It, well, you understand why. The Miami, because technically, as much as I love the Miami Heat, if we, they a, been there. if we had a regular season, they probably, probably wouldn't be there. Would, they probably wouldn't have made it. It probably would have been Milwaukee, to be honest. That four months off really screwed with some of the teams that are used to having their fans in their ear. Uh, Milwaukee plays better with the MVP chance. You've seen 2K. You know how it is. Yeah. Certain teams feed off the energy of the crowd. Surprisingly, the Lakers actually survived without their crowd. I don't know how. It worked out. But typically that's very that's surprising. You got the king. That's that's uh, very surprising. And they're showtime. They're the it's ones showtime. who drive off of the momentum. They feed off the exactly most teams. Well, that's the and, and, and maybe that's why. LeBron knows the clock. Follow time. He's thirty six. And that's my point. 
Five he five. know, I mean, he signed a three year deal to 39. That's about it after that. <laughs> yeah, that's it after that. And he already not the start, he's not the primary option. It's AD right. first. So, <laughs> so, to, so to just to conclude that part of the conversation, Giannis' chances of winning a championship in the next three to five years. Um, what did I tell you off the air? You told, well, to your I credit. I tell everybody. Three, I said credit. three years. He got to get he one in three years. three years. He, out of that five-year window, he has three to get a championship before he gets sent because, off. That's what I'm saying. Because at, what, three years from now, that's year 10. Now, as the franchise, look, you've been 10 years. We ain't got one yet. We got to do what we got to do. You, the Milwaukee Bucks, truth be told, are still suffering from letting Ray Allen walk away. 20 years ago? They're still suffering from that's that. Over 20, that's at least 20. Think, might think, be think about think about all the players that came up after that 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 fizzled out before Giannis. Yeah. Brandon Jennings, Andrew Bogut, Michael Red. I can name that's names of players that came and went. They didn't stay. That was my guy, Michael Red, too. He got hurt. He never yeah. got hurt. He would have been. And Andrew Bogut got hurt too. That's why he went to go to the state. He, yeah, he ended up, yeah, um, for a cheap. For cheap. For cheap. Yeah, cheap. He was a for for Monte like, Ellis. Yeah, it was like a cheap trade. For Monte Ellis. And uh, it's because he was injured when they, when they traded him, he was still injured. No, I was about to say, it was an injured Monte because Monte was nice, so he got injured. But, but look at how it worked out for Golden State. It worked out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But again, so so in conclusion, as I said, Giannis can get one in those three to five years, but it's going to be a slim chance as long as KD's healthy. As long as if, you, if, if James Harden comes to the East like he's trying to, he's trying to run from the West and go East. The Miami Heat gonna be a problem. Boston Celtics ain't going nowhere because Jason Tatum got not only did he get taller, he got stronger. He put on fifteen. Did he really get taller though. Yeah, it might be the shoes. I know what Stevenson said. It, I might, heard it, it. it might be the shoes. It might be the shoes. Yeah, I'm gonna say I don't know if you can really just grow it. You can because Melo Melo did it. You can. Yeah. Melo grew. Did he? Yeah. yeah. He he was six seven six eight. He's he's six nine now. He, he yeah, the same height as uh as LeBron. This is a side note, real quick. I'm just throwing mm -hmm. it out there. If James Harden gets traded to the 76ers, would the East then be the harder conference? No. 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 Y'all think so? I, I, think I know so, so no. Be I'm going to tell you why. You gotta, we just broke it down. The you gotta, we just broke down. I'm gonna, 11 we we, I, we just broke down the teams as they are right now. James Harden's style of play is not – Kobe said it best. His style of play does not equal championships. So even if you're in the East – yeah, it makes it easier to get to the final. You, but, I already saw a report though. They already said they're not going to trade for him. Yeah, they, they made it clear they're not going to do that. They, they, they don't. They don't want to get rid of him. They don't. They don't want to do it. Yeah, they said we're not getting neither one. So, so Brooklyn and Philly made it very clear within the last twenty four to forty eight hours. We're not trading our oh, yeah. superstars for James Harden because we saw how James and I, I'm going to tell you what James Harden screwed himself, and I'm going to tell you why. And now I'm glad we got this. Is what I was going to get into anyway. The moment he didn't show up for practice and was in the strip club with little baby, do you realize all 30 teams seen that? Yeah. He ruined his own value. Then, hold on, it gets better. It gets better. The scapegoat, uh, Russell, showed up to practice for the Wizards two hours early, day one. They ain't gonna tell you that though, because they want you to think Russell's. Well, the I heard bad. it. I heard that. I heard they, that. Hold on, hold on. They always want to spin it like Russell's the bad guy. Russell is not the bad guy. He just wants. He wants one hundred and thirty percent. That's what Russell. He wants more than one hundred percent. Let's let's break this down though, because this your guy. This your you are James Harden fan. So we are gonna break this down for those that don't know. You know this already. We are gonna break I this am down. James Harden fan. Dwight Howard. Chris Paul. Okay. Russell. Carmelo Anthony. Josh Carmelo Anthony. Anthony for 10 oh, days. Yeah. For, oh, ten, for, ten, that for 10 days. That would James Harden, though. Yeah. No, the moral <laughs> of the story is this. It ain't about it ain't about you trying to spin it. The media is going to try to spin it. We don't need I'm talking about for Mello, though. Well, we, ain't we, we ain't going to do that. We ain't going to do yeah. that. It's fresh. The, the three I mentioned are the more important ones. Right. The problem was always said, oh, I want this guy. He didn't work out. I don't want him anymore. Now I want this guy. Oh, he didn't work out. No, now I want my, my best friend. I'm going to play my best friend. Reports came out that Daryl Morey didn't even want to bring Russell down there because he knew it was a bad idea. 
analytically speaking, he knew it wasn't going to work. Well, yeah, they games don't match. But the owner for Tita pressed the button and said, get whatever he asked for. So it didn't work out. And then reports came out, I'd rather have John Wall versus Russell. Whether that, whether he said that or not, I don't care. I'm not checking for that. It's BS. The point of the matter is this. When you're a superstar player, you're not, the same player. Most, you're not as a team owner and a, and a GM, you don't let the star player dictate your move. You can ask him for su- suggestions, recommendations, requests. The crazy part is it, it happens like every day, though, in the NBA. James Harden is trying to be LeBron James without the hardware of LeBron James, without the mm-hmm. ability of LeBron James. He wants to be LeBron James. LeBron, Kawhi, whichever one. And it ain't working. Because Kawhi did it too with Paul George. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not saying it. But yeah. see, I don't say Kawhi because Kawhi, Kawhi wouldn't have missed practice and been in a strip club. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, he so wouldn't get that. I don't want to compare him to Kawhi because Kawhi wouldn't have said nothing like this or been out in public knowing COVID protocol, you can't come in and you got to go through quarantine. Huh? LeBron wouldn't either. Exactly. So, but with James Harden, <laughs> the whole league saw you basically say, F this team. I don't want to play here no more. I'm do what I want to do. I'm do what I want to do. And instead of being a mature man about it, I'm going to be extra childish and do it where y'all see me. Cameras is everywhere. I'm famous. Every strip club know my name. They know the beard. They know who it is. You can't deny who it is. You know who it is. So right. it's like it's a big slap in the face. So the yeah, whole league is like, now. okay, so now all the teams that wanted him said, this is what y'all got to deal with? When he don't get his way, this is this is how he acts? I oh, agree. no, no, no. We're not well, Kyrie. Now, look, yeah, I realize. Look, look, My listen. dad got the same power he used to have. For obvious Derrick reasons. Derrick just he, got a new job. For obvious reasons, because he ain't won nothing. But no, we'll no, get no, to no, it. Dan mm. Tony and Derrick Moore got new jobs, so they can't really just do what they want. Exactly. <laughs> They got bosses now. If you're Bro- exactly, if you're yeah. Brooklyn, you say, "Okay, yes, Kyrie talks too much," and then apologizes later after he didn't thought about how stupid it was of what he said. That's true. He, but yeah. we can deal. We but they said we'd rather deal with him pissing off the locker room over James Harden being a diva. That's terrible because really both of them are divas. Too. But like a wide receiver. You, as a as a GM, you're still taking Kyrie Irving over Harden. Why? Kyrie is younger. Kyrie knows to shut up eventually. James Harden yeah, yeah, yeah. missed practice on purpose. This was intent. Oh, this whole thing was intentional. And then to top it all off, you decide to finally show up to preseason because the team is winning without you. If that ain't if that ain't a diva. Oh well, you know what? I want to be a part of it. I want to shine too. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go to the pre. I'm gonna go to the game. You know, now. I'm gonna now. Now. Cause John Wall making me look bad. Cause Russell Westbrook making me look bad. Demarcus yeah. Cousins making me look bad. So I'm gonna show up now. I'm getting up for if a I'm in that locker room, If I'm in that locker room, or if I'm John Wall, I say, "Yo, coach, bench him. Why is he playing? Bench him. Put him on minute restrictions. Ten minutes." Cause he ain't coming out here with us. They can't do he, that. He wasn't in his. He wasn't shooting with us in the gym. They Sit his do ass that. down. That's forty million dollar man. You don't do that for forty million. I would. That's thirty six tonight. I would. At this point, he ain't worth forty million today. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They ain't gonna do that. Kerry said they average. He averaged thirty six. <laughs> it don't matter, Kerry. Kerry, Kerry, listen, Kerry, yeah. listen, listen. Look, I agree with everything you just said. You said listen. Six minutes. There's a reason why they don't have there's a reason why they don't have people like us as real coaches in the NBA because real coaches will hold hold people accountable. I can't even say the words I want to say right now. Oh, I know. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> I'm struggling because I know I gotta put this on YouTube and I'm really trying, I'm really trying, I'm really trying to keep my cool. But when it comes to people like him, if I'm the head coach and this is my team, I'm benching him. He ain't playing. You better get your ass in the gym and get your shots up because you ain't shooting tonight. Ooh. But see, they don't have coaches like us in the league for a reason. Yeah, because we'll we hold fired. him accountable. They got fired. You know, okay. stuff like that. Look here, boss. Look, like I just said, I was all walking away. 
I don't want. I, I'm, I said this to him off the air. I'm gonna say it now. I don't Hello. want James Harden in Houston. Get him out of here. I don't want him here. Yeah, but he's stuck there. I think he's gonna average thirty anywhere. I don't care where he can average thirty in Sacramento. I don't care. He ain't gonna, he can average thirty in Sacramento and not get no tele, not one televised game. I don't no, care. No, if he go there, I don't if, care. If he there, they will be on TV. Definitely. They gonna they gonna change the TV schedule if he gets. This. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> they would. They gonna be on Christmas. <laughs> absolutely, Christmas, New Year's uh, Eve. Oh, uh, hey, uh, they, they, they gonna be like they gonna be like. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who y'all got on? Who y'all got on ESPN this week? The uh, Rockets to play. Go ahead and pull like. pull Memphis out. Uh, we gotta have Charlotte on there. Camelo down there. We gotta keep him on there. Um, pull. I uh, promise you, they mm, take you uh, mm, uh, but that Cleveland game, yeah, pull them off. They definitely ain't going absolutely. away this year. Pull that absolutely. game off. The uh, magic, absolutely. Uh, Pacers, Kings. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, I'm to go with Sacramento. Now. You already know they would do that. <laughs> Money rules. Pacers get one televised game. <laughs> they only get four. <laughs> right. They only got four anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah, they'd have to change the whole TV schedule if that happens. That's easy fix. That's easy, that's easy fix. <laughs> they the said Aaron Fox and James Harden and, and, and Bagley? Oh, we got to get them on there. Oh, yo, we fix, know, this. fix this. Fix yeah. this. Uh, Just uh, like nah, Huh? I know how you feel about that. I was like, the Rockets gonna turn into Cleveland after LeBron left. You ain't gonna see not one of their games ever. <laughs> I get off my get, nah man. Nah, nah. We about to end this right now. We yo, you're not gonna come on here being disrespectful. You the guest. Let me pull LeBron with you the Lakers. Yo, yo, wait a minute. The Cavs was on Christmas game for like five consecutive years. They were, but hold on, hold on. Now you're saying John like Wall and Boogie. Wait, wait. You saying John Wall and Boogie don't bring in ratings? Are you serious right now? Not like James Harden, no. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. They ain't gonna pull. They ain't gonna pull the Rockets team like that. They ain't gonna do that. Don't do that. And don't do that. a good three games. They still got Eric Gordon. Don't do. Don't do that. Don't See, do you that. can't bring up. You can't do that to me. You're not like DJ. You know, that's my guy. He, that's right, my, that is our guy. <laughs> that's my guy. <laughs> Look, you just gonna pull rocket games off te- national televised television because you ain't got the beard no more. That's cold, bro. That's cold. So, I heard you say something about uh, James Harden acting like a diva, and that all thirty teams saw that, and that kind of like made them pull not wanting to get him, right? Yep. Say, yep. All thirty teams saw John Wall throwing up gang signs, and they were like, "We'll, we'll see what this market doing for one point. We're gonna see what." It, what we can do with him. You know what, though? You got a point, and I'm going to tell you how John Wall already won that conversation. He showed up to Houston, and he told – there was a report that just came out, I think, either yesterday or today, early this morning. He called James Harden and said, yo, my party days are over when I leave D.C. I'm leaving my it's party days in D.C. So John Wall came and reported to training camp on time. To I'm sorry? He better be about basketball. No, that's what he said. He said, he said, yo, he I'm leaving my party days behind me in D.C. Basically telling James, hey, I'm here to work. I ain't here to go to the strip club. I ain't here to throw up no gang gang or none of that. Like, I'm here to – I'm about business. Okay. Well, it better be, though. But James Harden, in that same – within that same time span, went out and had the party with little Baby for his birthday. So again, he wasn't moved by the move. So again, he's like, "Well, it ain't my man Russ, so I don't care. Whatever. I still, I'm still getting paid for two more years on this contract. I'm finna cash out, cash out. You know what I'm saying? So again, him doing that and getting recorded put him in this position where teams like Brooklyn and Philly are looking and saying, "Hmm, Ben Simmons, James Harden." Drama, no jump shot. I take no, no, I take the drama. <laughs> no, no, you don't. Not, no, not, no, no, you no don't. Jump shot you're lying. You're no saying that because you're biased. You're saying no. it because you're a fan. Jump shot and injury prone, Ben Simmons. Look, y'all. Look, Antonio Brown got a job. 
So uh-huh. I, I said Antonio Brown got a job, so I can deal with a little attitude. Some people still gotta eat. Some people still gotta eat. Do you realize you can't teach an old dog new tricks, man? I feel you. So James Harden is who he is. He has already reached his peak. Truth be told, and Tone knows this, and Carrie, you probably do too. In 2018, when the Rockets were going against the Warriors, Western Conference Finals. Oh, bring that up. was that I hate to say this because you're a James Harden fan. That was the time. That James was Harden was one hamstring away from a ring. Because because truth be told, <laughs> the Rockets would have beat the Cavaliers. They would have swept them. I don't know about swept, but they would have beat them. Oh, it would have been at least five. It, Rockets and five. Okay. Okay. Five, Cleveland to get one game. They'll get LeBron to get one. Yeah, LeBron gonna get one. He'll get swept. <laughs> well, he got swept uh, that the year uh, with, with Golden State when J.R. Smith didn't didn't take that ball up and George Hill missed that free throw. Well, everybody was hurt. That's a little. Who's the Albies when that game was on? I know you remember that. Yeah, that, that, that was eighteen. Was. That was eighteen. Yeah. Huh? Same year. Same year. Same, same year. year. Yeah, same year. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying is, his window for his style of play closed. Because you notice, has he been to the Western Conference Finals since 2018? No. In fact, he he's regressed. Good. He scored more for himself to get an MVP or be in the in the MVP conversation, which he right. lost to Giannis two years in a row. <laughs> we'll leave that there. Do you agree with um them uh, me saying this? The Rockets for the, I believe in the last three to five years, they never built a team to win a championship. They built a team to beat the Warriors. And for the last two years, well for the last year. When the Warriors weren't around, they played this style trying to look for the Warriors, and it wasn't the same pace of ball anymore. It got bigger. It, uh, spacing got more. Like, they weren't playing the same style, and that's why they got destroyed. And James Harden, I think he needs to have a different style. I believe getting a new coach, I believe having John Wall, I believe having Boogie Cousins there may change up the way. It, it won't. I'm going to tell you why. All right. <laughs> Um, no, it won't. It won't. I listen. If I was optimistic about him, I would agree with you. Problem is, he demanded a trade the moment he found out Silas was the new head coach. Yeah, I agree with that one. I don't like that. So, and we talked about this last episode. So, that tells me I don't want to change. One, the new coach is gonna hold me accountable. Two, Dan Tony's in Brooklyn. I want to go with him. Three, because I won my MVP with Dan Tony. So I want to go back with him. Huh? 50% going on Mike Dan Tony. I'm not man, man, we not pointing fingers on whose fault it is. Hit man. You being a fanboy. Stop, stop it. Just, no, stop I'm not. it. You being a fan. You get told what you want to do. You're not you being, you're not being true. You're being a fan right now. You being a hard, <laughs> you being a hard and stand right the now. The offense. Huh? The offense was James Harden, what you want to do on the court, basically. Um, like news flash. I'm, I'm gonna break I something down for you, Harden fans out there, because Tone don't want to hear this, but it's the truth. No, nope, I don't. Kevin Durant is a better offensive weapon than James Harden. Mike drop. Mm-hmm. James no, Harden right. been on fire because Kevin Durant was out of the league for the last two years. I guess I disagree with that. You I'm have no good. choice, but you have no choice but to agree with it, because statistically <laughs> speaking. The only reason James Harden getting all this shine for scoring is because Kevin Durant wasn't in the league for two years. Or he go to Golden State with like and Golden State was banged up. I don't want to talk about. I don't want to talk about Golden State. I don't want to talk about Golden State right now. I don't want to talk about Golden State right now. We're not talking because, about that. Because another side piece that I hadn't even put on my list about Golden State since you brought them up, I'm gonna throw it out there. I'm hearing reports that Steph Curry might lead the Warriors soon. Lies. No, 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me let me finish. I see why he wants to. Let me finish. He knows where I'm going with this. Let me finish. For Steph Curry's legacy, he needs one more ring to secure everything. There's a huge chance because Clay went down with another major injury. He's gonna miss another season. It's two years. Two leg injuries, two major leg injuries, ACL Achilles. Two worst injuries, period. For a basketball player, pretty much. For a basketball player. Draymond Green 
We know where he's at right now. We ain't even gonna talk about him. I'm just gonna leave that. Just say his name. You know where I'm going with that. So I'm gonna leave that there. The dynasty as we know it is over. Oh, it's over. Then the part that we don't talk about is the contract that Clay Thompson has. Do you know how much they're paying Clay Thompson to be injured? Like 35 million. Four year, $180 million extension. Yeah, it's like 35 million. 40. Draymond Green. Three year, I think it's like 90 ish. It's it's decent. It's, it's still a contract that you're paying. He ain't worth. He ain't producing. Um, so the reports come out saying, you know, it's possible that Steph might look around and see when he comes up to his free agency again or sign to read. You know, he hasn't signed his extension yet for a reason because he's due to sign an extension, but he hasn't signed it yet. Oh, yeah, but, but the, the reports aren't talking about that. I thought he signed an extension like two years ago with a five year. Like, yeah, you know, he's up for another one. And if he, he signs the if he signs the next one, it'll secure him till he's thirty six. Then yeah, he probably got done after that. But that that's it. That's exactly. He'd be a warrior for life. Now he did say in the media because he's a media guy. He's a media darling. I would like to be a warrior for life. Listen to what I just said though. I like would to. like to be. Not I will be. Not well, I am. I would like to. Because be. they can't trade Clay Thompson. Yeah. yeah, nobody's gonna pick. Nobody's gonna pick that contract up. Mm-mm. Oh, oh, oh! The other contract they got is a bad it. contract. They still got Andrew Wiggins on the on the books too. I forgot about that. That's easy. That's easy. well, it's not easy trade. No, it's not. Three year, hundred twenty million. He still owes a hundred. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You can still trade him though, because it's only twenty six, twenty seven. Who's gonna pick that up? Yeah, he was getting it from Minnesota. God damn. A hundred twenty million. Yeah, the, the Minnesota gave him that deal. The exactly. Warriors didn't give them that deal. They just took the contract. <laughs> they did yeah, exactly. They picked up the contract, so it's on the books. Yeah, they, they didn't give them that money. That's they good. picked it's it up though. They signed up Minnesota before they because they traded. The bottom, li- the the bottom line is play. this: I don't want to talk about the Warriors because reality, as it shows you, right now with Clay being down for another season, it's been proven that Steph can't carry this team without Clay. But I do like Wiseman. Yeah, no, no, I'm not saying they're not gonna be they're gonna be middle of the pack. We already had this conversation. I'm not saying they're gonna fall out of, of like obscurity. I'm just saying they're not the warriors that we know them as anymore. Even with Kelly Oubre, Kelly Oubre gonna have a breakout season. I like Kelly Oubre. But the Warriors as we know it are done. Right. Because as long as the Lakers are out there, as long as the Clippers are trying to beat the Lakers out there. Whatever. No, it, it's like there's the Western Conference is so stacked that if you're not on your A game, if you're not on point, you're going to fall out of contention because you still got Portland, Utah. The Rockets are still going to be in the mix, whether you like them or not, with or without James Harden. They might not be at the top. They still going to be in the mix. Don't forget about the future MVP in Dallas. And don't oh, forget I- about and don't forget about Phoenix. Both of them teams, Dallas and Phoenix. Let's not you know forget. How, Let's you know not how forget. I feel about Luca and the you know how I feel about CP3 go over there with Booker and, and DeAndre. Ayton. You know how I feel about Luca. Luca and uh, I think if you ever get healthy. Yeah, now Dallas is one of those teams that made room for Giannis. So they're a little crushed right now because they kind of had a plan for the big three. They kind of had a plan to have Porzingis, Luca, and Giannis, but that ain't going to happen. He always make it work, though. He always make something work, though. That would have been an automatic championship. I think Mark Cuban knew it would have been automatic if they could have made that happen, but you know, it didn't. It didn't. Oh, and, and let's not forget about the Denver Nuggets. Oh my God, how dare you? How dare? So, and then there's Zion in New Orleans with Brandon Ingram. Yeah, and they got that big man enforcer. And they got uh, Jacks. They got uh, Jackson Hayes. Yeah, they got. Uh, oh, um, I know you're talking about. Um, um, Oh man, Stephen Adams. I'm sure yeah, Stephen, Stephen Adams, and they still got JJ Reddick, Reddick on the books. They still got JJ Reddick on the books for one more year. Yep. They got Hula. JJ, JJ Reddick. Oh, yeah, JJ. He's on. He's in his last year. His contract. So yeah, I mean, we looked that up last or a couple of months. Yeah, yeah. So again, the West is so stacked that if you're not on point and you're missing even one star on your team, you're basically going to either fall low on the tree or out the tree altogether. The East is different. The East is wide open season. Any team that wants to be great can be great. Miami, Wizards, Hornets, whatever young team, Atlanta, whatever young team that wasn't in competition prior, 
This is your year to shine because the only problem you're going to run into is you don't want to be the number one seed and the one number one seed. Or you don't want, I'm sorry, you don't want to be the eighth seed and have to face the number one seed. And that number one seed is either Boston or Brooklyn. Those are my you. two. Those are my two. You know, I got Boston. Here. I got Boston and Toronto fighting for it. Toronto's not going to be number two. Toronto's not going to be number two. They're going to come down three or four. Because I'm only saying that only because even though I don't believe in the Brooklyn hype for a championship, I believe in the Brooklyn Very hype as far as dominating the East because Giannis is going to come down. You Absolutely. said this last episode, so I'm agreeing with what you said, but I'm taking what you said to the next level. If Giannis comes down like to three, three or four, four, there's a team that's going to go up to replace them, and it's not going to be Philly. It's nah. not going to be Philly. It's not going to be the Pacers. It's not going to be uh, – who else was in there last year um, outside of Toronto? Um, Miami. Miami, they're going to stay wherever they're at. They're I said Miami gonna... was three last year. They were three or four. They was right there. Four, three yeah. or four, yeah, something like that. They, they're not. They're, they're not going. They, if they fall, they'll be five or six. But at best, yeah. but um, Jimmy's not going to let them fall. Jimmy, Jimmy's not going to let them fall. Dragic, they resign Dragic. They resign Bam. Jimmy's still there. They still got Duncan Hero. They got pretty much uh, everybody. They lost a couple of pieces, but not. They, really. they lost Jay Crowder and they lost uh, Solomon Hill. We didn't care. Uh, and um, one other person. Um, I forget. I know Jay Crowder was Plum, a huge. Uh, yeah, Plum. Yeah. Yeah. They got Plumley or they lost Plumley? They lost Plumley. Want to need a backup? Plumley was in Denver. What, what Plumley are you talking about? Oh, uh, no. Was it Miles? Leonard? Oh, Leonard. They lost Leonard. Leonard. Yeah, I'm about to say, no, yeah. Plumley's in. Um... Yeah, Leonard. They lost Leonard. That's what it yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Wrong. Yeah, they lost Leonard. He was there. They, they play the same style. I can see why you missed yeah, him. Yeah, that's, that's what that. me on. So. With that being said, Brooklyn's going to go up. They were down at the bottom last year. I got them at number two. I got Boston at number one. If everybody stays healthy and plays their position, and Tristan Thompson uh, gets that hamstring together, that's the, only thing, that is the only thing that's going to that's be a question mark as their center, as their center, as their center. Because that's the only thing they didn't have last year, and bam – bodied them because of that. That's why they went seven games. If Boston had a, a, a valuable center, one could argue the Celtics would have made it to the finals last year against the yeah, They were undersized the center. Very, extremely undersized. They got all the value. shooting in the world. Listen, and that's listen, their value carry, too. Nice carry. Value. Every player on Boston, uh, uh, when you put when you give your job application or your resume to Danny Ainge over in Boston, you have to be a shooter. Everybody yeah, on the roster can shoot. Everybody on the roster can shoot. Young athletic core, too. Just... Every and they all tall. They all so like six, top. seven, and up. Yeah. Like but everybody is Boston out, now, though. You outside of Carson, say outside of Carson Edwards. Huh? I say Kimba Kimba's gonna be scared. Kimba's make you nervous though. That knee. Is that something he's been having a problem with since Connecticut? Since he was in Yukon? A, a little bit, but when he had to have surgery, he had surgery in off season. He just had it. He out to January. I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, the way their team is set up, and maybe this me being a little little arrogant or a little cocky towards them because that's one of my favorite teams. It don't matter. You when you have enough production coming from your your starters and your bench, because you don't forget, Marcus Smart was on the bench last year. Right. Yeah. yeah. I agree. With him leading the second unit, you don't. I'm not gonna say you don't need Kim Walker because he's helpful. He does help space the floor. Oh, I'm exactly. not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that. But with him being gone, that's more touches for JB. That's more touches for Tatum. Marcus Smarter be getting moved to the starting lineup more times than not, or at least get starter minutes off the bench. You lost Wanamaker, but you got some other pieces. You can figure that out. On the right. flip side. You got yeah. enough shooters, you can survive until Kimba gets back. Great. I agree. So I got Boston and, Br- and Brooklyn fighting for that number one seed in my in my mind. Now, if Toronto wants to show up and be at the top of the list, go right ahead. I'm not knocking it because they got my man Aaron Baines, former Celtic, up there in Toronto now. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, moved from Phoenix. Now he's in Toronto because he replaced yeah, uh, third and Mark Gasol. Yeah. So and then, uh, he, he's nice. He's undersized, but he's nice. And he can shoot. He can shoot, too. 
Um, he's great from the free throw line. He's, he's undersized. He's like six nine, six six nine, six, sixteen. Six nine, sixteen. He's undersized. He's undersized for a, for a four and a five. He's undersized. Okay. But but he's he he plays big though. He plays he plays up to the to the five though. He can guard the five. Like a big body. Yeah, big body, short but with a big body. Yeah, there you go. Um, so Boston and Brooklyn are gonna fight for that number one. Toronto and Miami gonna fight for the three four. Then after you get past the top four, you got the Pacers, Sixers. Excuse me. Pacers, Sixers. Um, I guess you throw Atlanta in there if they make if they make if they make it. They better make it. If they make it. That's what's um, I got Atlanta. Yeah. Other, then other I, weapons they got, they better make it. I got I got Charlotte making it to the AC. That's it, sleeper team in Charlotte. I got Charlotte making it to the AC. In fact, depending on how well and how fast Mellow Ball develops into his NBA body, Atlanta and Charlotte are going to be fighting for the next couple of years. Trey Young, Mellow Ball, they're going to they gonna, they gonna go at it for the next couple of years in the East. But we can't sleep on the Wizards. I don't see them missing the playoffs with Russell Westbrook and Bradley Beal. I don't see it. <clears throat> And that rounds out my my list. I just took I out. I well, took see, out the Pistons. The I took out the huh? Because they got the play-in games too, so they can still make it. Right. But I'm gonna tell you the teams that I don't have making the playoffs this year: Pistons, Cavaliers, Bulls. Bulls might fight for a spot, but I don't see them making it. I don't see them making it. I don't. I Knicks. Do. Knicks can make some noise. Don't see them getting to the playoffs this year. Um, it's just too competitive right now. Right. Um, but yeah, that's it. I mean, the other team that I took out of that mix, because I don't think I said their name. Yeah, it's Philadelphia. Oh no, oh, you don't said Philly. You don't you respect Orlando. Yeah, I'm about to say the Magic. He don't respect man. Them. The nice young boy. He don't. He don't like their coach. What? Carrie, I'm gonna tell you the truth about Orlando. He don't like Steve Clifford. No, let me let me say this, and and I, I'm gonna say it exactly what I told you. Orlando is a talented roster. You got one problem. And what? really one problem only. What? Terrible coach. I just told you that. <laughs> Steve Clifford is not your guy. I'm sorry. I'm, he's not. He's not your guy. You're like, I, no, and I know what you're going to say. I know what you're going to say because he said all the time, well, they made it to the HC three years in a row. Right? They made the playoffs. <laughs> so what? Who cares? Every yeah. time I see Orlando going up against the number one, whether it's the Bucks or Toronto or whoever's number one, I already know the outcome. You see, DJ Augustine got up out of there. He now he's on the winning team. He's on the Bucks now. He said, "Look, I'm tired of look. I'm tired of going home early. I'm tired of y'all, man." DJ Augustine dropped fifty points in that one game. You remember that time, like two years yeah. ago? Yeah, the playoffs. Yeah. DJ dropped like fifty points in the game. I remember that game winning three. Yeah, I remember that. He tired. He tired of losing. Tired, boss. I'm tired, boss. I'm tired. So I'm saying like this. Orlando, until y'all get a better coach and a front office that's not that's willing to spend money and not be so cheap, you're not going anywhere. Oh, oh, one more thing. One more, one more thing. One more thing. Aaron Gordon got to go. Terrence Ross got to go. Man. If I got two between the two, I can work with Terrence Ross. I can't stand Aaron Gordon. You got a hard worker that don't know his position versus a diva that wants to win a dunk contest. He's more focused on winning a dunk contest than winning a championship. That's true. I I'm going to let you, I'm gonna let you figure that one out. I'm going to let you figure that one out. Any injury from? I, I can't disagree with either one of those points. I like Terrence Ross. Uh, I do too. I actually didn't like Terrence Ross. I'm just like saying, Terrence if I got to choose between getting rid of one or the other, Terrence Ross is going to stay on my roster before Aaron Gordon stay on my roster. Right. Okay. And we'll go oh. from there. Um. So, yeah, and that's what we're dealing with when it comes to the East. So, the East is going to definitely make some changes when it comes to the playoff seating. I don't see that staying the same because teams are getting better. Man. Ooh, I'm back Trying to think, is there any other team upgrades that we haven't covered yet for this week? No, I have to think of. 
think that about wraps up the NBA tip. I think let's go ahead and get into some NFL. I think we have the NFL point. Let's go ahead and get some NFL in here. Uh, you brought up a valid point this morning off the air about the Buffalo Bills being your secret pick for the Super Bowl this year. Oh, yeah. Why? Well, remember, I already picked them to win the division prior. Okay. To the year start. I said they're going to win the AFC East. And they're looking 10 and 3 or 9 and 3. Right. They might be 10 and 3. Yeah, they 10 and 3. Okay. Because they beat the Steelers. Right. On Monday night. Finally, threw the ball to Stefan Diggs. Hey, them boys are serious. Oh, yeah. It was looking rough, though. It was a, bad, it was a rough first half. Neither team was doing their thing. But now I said I put money on the Bills. So I put a dollar on the Bills oh, yeah. to win the whole thing and get back some money. All right. But that was my super team all year. <laughs> Him and the Cardinals. Yeah, the Cardinals. Was I had Bills and Cardinals as my two sleepers all year. Okay, so let's let's break down the teams are at the top of each conference right now, so that way you can understand why that probably won't happen. Well, Even though I like the Bills, I like Stephon Diggs and Josh Allen. That combination's crazy. You got the Bills. This is the AFC East. Yeah, Bills and Bills Dolphins. and Dolphins fighting for the AFC East. Bills are 10 3, Dolphins 8 and 5, with a few games left to be able to. Well, they play each other too, one more game. Huh? I'm pretty sure they do. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. Yeah. When it comes to AFC West, you have the Raiders and Chiefs fighting right now. Oh, why did. No, the Chiefs already clinched it. They did. That's right. They did. Yeah, You're they right. clinched it because the right. Raiders lost. You're right. They did. So we'll we'll go ahead and move on to the AFC North, which obviously the Steelers clinched their spot. So now, you, so basically, you know for a fact. Steelers and Chiefs are going to fight each other for that for that championship, right? I ain't gonna say all that yet. Y'all, you know, are you not gonna you're not gonna say that yet? You're not gonna call that. I yet? got Kansas City in the in the conference finals. Okay, so you also oh, also oh, oh, so you you're you're going on a limb and saying the Bills are going against the Chiefs in the in the championship. You put me on the spot. Yeah. Then probably so. Give me the bills. Okay, yeah. well, don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. Before, before I'm gonna get to you. I'm gonna get to you. I gotta get this real quick. I want the Dolphins to go up against the Chiefs in the AFC Championship. I know that's your guy. I know Tua is your guy, but they can't catch the ball. It can happen. I watched the game. They didn't catch nothing. If they if they can get if they can catch the Bills in the race for the the clinch the division. I mean. There'll be a shot. First of all, the Bills got to lose out. It, ha- it can happen. I don't see that happening. It can happen. I'm they only out. took games off. It can happen. Uh-uh, I'm just throwing this out there. I'm, I'm not going to say anything uh-huh. right now. I'm just throwing this out here about the Steelers. Uh-huh. The Steelers are pretendo. They are not the real deal. I didn't say do that. not put your money on the. Do not put your money on them in this AFC Championship game. I know it's you okay, just, Tom. My- it's cool. It's cool. I'm not mad at him for saying that. Cause I, I went on record. I'm, I'm gonna t- no, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you why I'm not mad at him for saying that. I am on record saying that the only reason Steelers got that far undefeated was because of COVID. And I said schedule. that. I said that two weeks ago. I said because their schedule was weak. I said the only they reason Juju was they dancing. I listen. Win. I said the only reason Juju was dancing on those fields every week is because of COVID. I think because he liked to dance. <laughs> No, no, I mean, as far I as him dancing after every win, like. I don't think he was just thinking about it being the Bills, like home. I think he was out there just dancing. Still, it shouldn't have been a big this season as far as they got, period, because they weren't playing at 100%. And Tomlin even, even said it. Tomlin even said it. He's like, we shouldn't have won. I think it was against yeah. the Ravens that they almost lost. Yep. He, like, he was like, yeah, we should have. He said, the way we playing division. tonight, we, we didn't deserve to win today. You skipped your own your division, bro. Huh? You skipped uh, one more division. AFC South. Oh, that don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> look, the Titans are real there, though. I yeah, we're talking Titans. about the second team. Huh. Talking about the coach. <laughs> Inconsistent. He, he not going. No, he didn't know because you just talked about he's eight and eight. He's the eight and eight guy. Coach are going nine. I already said my apology. I'm not apologizing no more. You can't even talk about him, though? Nah. Nah, Uncle John said they're going to sit down. Uncle John said they might go to the finals. Stop the finals. (laughs) 
<laughs> we was at the shop early. I know what he said. I heard what he said. I, I heard what he said. Uncle Jay said, don't sleep on the coats. And I said, he said, don't sleep on them. Too bad. I got my pillow and my blanket already. Yeah, Jeez. right. I mean, listen, I'm all comfy, cozy. I'm about to go to sleep. I'm about to take me a nap. The coach is not the first round. Time. Listen, listen. No, the coach is not the first round. Right now, as of as of right now, Los Angeles Buffalo they, and the Chiefs they got the first round. As of right, exactly. As of right now, the Titans are ahead of the Colts. I know they are. With a tied, I think Colts could beat the Titans with a tied record because I already beat them. I don't think Derrick Henry gonna go out without a fight. I didn't say that. You know what my problem is on the Tennessee. Tennessee. Yeah. Your problem with Tennessee is my problem with Indianapolis. But I'll, tell him I'll take Phillip Rivers over Tannehill any day. And that's where it gets disrespectful. I take Tannehill over Phillip Rivers. Disrespectful. Ugh. All I need is a game manager. I don't need somebody trying to be the man. Well, yeah, with Derek Rick will run for 250 yards. Yeah. This man can make babies. He don't win championships. He just make babies. Ugh. The Colts are a better team than Tennessee. All around. They got better defense. Can't disagree. And best offensive line in the NFL. The defense is making Phillip Rivers look good this year. Best offensive line, too. Quinn Nelson, Ryan the, Kelly. The defense and the line are making Phillip Rivers look like an accurate quarterback for the first time in his long-ass career. That's, I agree. That makes him look good. On top of the fact that the offensive coordinator that he was tight with is his head coach now. So, yes, well, I get I'm it. I, I get I it. I told you that, though. I get it. I told you that at the beginning of the season. You don't listen. Because I don't <laughs> trust him. And I don't trust Teddy here. Okay, we we don't trust. Right, so we went seven and nine with Jacoby Brissett behind that line. Seven and nine. So come on, with Philip Rivers, who's way ahead of Jacoby Brissett, we're supposed to win nine games. You, don't trust him you, say that. <laughs> I, I, you know what? He thinks Jacoby should still be starting. Ah, whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa! Don't change your mind. Say that with context. With with context. With context. If you're gonna start Jacoby Brissett, you have to have a playbook written for Jacoby Brissett. Let let's now hold on, Kerry. Tune in. I gotta, I gotta <laughs> get this down for you. Jacoby Brissett was thrown into the starting position because Andrew Luck retired unannounced, unexpectedly, unpredictably. In the preseason, the last preseason game before the first game of the season, decided to I don't, I don't remember. Jacoby Brissett did not get his own playbook. Jacoby Brissett had to play through not only Andrew Luck's playbook, but Peyton Manning's playbook because Andrew Luck's playbook and Peyton's playbook is the same damn book. So, again, you didn't design an offense for Jacoby's style of play. You want Jacoby to be a gunslinger when he's a mobile QB. He's a new generation Mobile QB. He does not like staying in the pocket. He likes to move around. He likes to run. And if he can't get to somebody, he's going to go for his. Granted, if you don't design an offensive playbook for that style of play and you want him to be a thrower, that's like putting Cam Newton in a Tom Brady position and expecting him to be great. When Cam Newton is not great on Tom Brady's level, Cam Newton was great when he was Superman running through defense. And being able to get to his spot, right. so throw the ball every now time. Now you stay in. Okay, so I'm not saying. So I, I, I want to make sure. I, I know you guys. So I just didn't. I didn't want Kerry to think that without context that I would choose Jacoby Brissett over Philip right. Rivers. But I will say that if somebody told me that I had to choose between Jacoby Brissett and Philip Rivers prior to this season, prior to this season. I don't care what season. I would have chose Jacoby Brissett over Phil Rivers because when he was in okay. L.A., he was you trash. Disrespectful. Garbage. Look, 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 look. I respect you. <laughs> I like your points. They just but good. simply, um, Jacoby Brissett is not good. He can't throw short passes. He's inaccurate at medium passes. He can throw deep passes, but he runs like he has two left feet. They use him to do – they use him to QB sneaks. Whenever he had a starting position last year, I know I never saw him do a breakout. Lamar Jackson, I'm going to gain some yards for us. No, he ran like a frantic deer in headlights. If they gave him one full season to do him, out of one full season, a defense was carrying him along in games. He couldn't even manage wins. We lost due to his red zone possessions. 
He couldn't manage the ball in the red zone. And you're starting quarterback, quarterback, a mobile starting quarterback. And what you said, if you're a mobile starting quarterback, look what the boy is doing in, uh, in New Orleans. Hey, some people run kids. So I'm like, Jacoby Brissett, he had a full season to show what he could do. I respect what he can do. I respect that he's in the NFL and he's has a job today. As a, but yeah, he deserves to be a backup quarterback. I do not like Phillip Rivers. I said this. I put it on paper. I even tweeted it. I said the Colts back in April should have drafted Jalen Hurts. I foreseen that. I you saw it. Happened. I know it wasn't, but I saw Jalen Hurts in college. And people were just – I don't know why people tend to forget. You, Kerry, like, you know why they didn't do that. Kerry, you know why they didn't do that. Exactly. You why know why they didn't do that. You we know why they didn't do that. We all know exactly. if, if, like, if, if your quarterback doesn't look like Peyton Manning or Andrew Luck, we don't want him. That's why they got Phil Rivers. Phil Rivers, is a, a Wal- Phil Rivers is a Walmart version of Peyton Manning without the accuracy. I say more like a, like a Dollar General version. Dollar Tree. Well, I'm yeah, not gonna pay many. I'm never gonna But yeah, just, just all in all, fun. that would have been the best fit, the right. most athletic fit, the Tom, most accurate Tom, fit. So when I said Walmart version or lower version of Peyton Manning, when you go to Dollar Tree and try to get some cocoa butter lotion and you pour it on some in your hand, Use it's the dollar version of cocoa it's, version. It's it's water. Yeah, <laughs> when you water. go to the, the real store to get the real thing, the Vaseline Cocoa Butter brand, that actually says Vaseline on it. Right. In the brown bottle. The dark brown mocha looking bottle. Yep. Yeah. But it's smooth. When you get it from a Dollar Tree, it falls out your hand like water. Yeah. That's what I mean. I'm not saying Phil Rivers is Peyton Manning. I'm not. No. I would never do that. He's not even the same class, so I know that. They're only in the same class because of his age. Well, yeah. But only I mean, like, act- the you, know, you know what? You know what? You know what? For the record, let the record show. The most accurate Philip Rivers has been is making babies. That is where he's the most accurate. The gridiron, not so much. Wow. Man. But at home, he's the man. man. Yeah. Hall wow. of Fame, first ballot, easy. Okay. I mean, he is a. He got nine time. kids. I mean, we got nine kids. Y'all, he needs one more. Just go ahead and make it 10. Just go ahead and make it even 10. Make it an even number. He can't pull out the driveway with any rear view mirrors. Wow. He stays in the pocket. Okay. We, okay. We, <laughs> okay. We just got way off topic. <laughs> <laughs> we just got way off topic. So, okay. 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 So, 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 based on what I see right now in the AFC before I go over to the NFC. And based on what Kerry just said, because Kerry just said Yo, about the Steelers, and, and I hate the Yo, fact that he's right because I like Mike Tomlin, Mike Tomlin, and Big on, Mike Mike Tomlin yeah. and Big Ben are first ballot Hall of Fame, no question. Um, when it comes to the AFC, um, of course, because the Steelers are not real, when it comes down to the postseason, I, I think that's when they're really going to get exposed. Right. Um, I'm with you. It's either going to be the Bills. In a long shot, in my in my my world, I'd say Dolphins, but they'll get close. They might not get it. But they'll be close. They'll be like right. There. Like if this is the AFC and represent, nah, the AFC, one more, the Dolphins I think like Dolphins right need one more year. They they're like right there. One more, two more seasons. They like, they 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 might not get over the hump this year, yeah, but they they they're right there. So we'll say Bills, Chiefs, Dolphins. Those are my three teams to make it out. I don't got the coach making it out just for the simple fact that I don't trust Philip Rivers. And if he proved me wrong, cool. Good job. But I made it, I'm a, I made it very clear on a previous episode, and I'm gonna say it again. Philip Rivers is not winning a Super Bowl with the coach. It's not happening. Well, I didn't say all that. I'm glad uh, you I'm glad you was able to realize that. I didn't say all that. I was just bring it up what Uncle Jay said. <laughs> I don't see anybody coming close. How you just said the Dolphins. I just saw if you guys saw it too. I, I just saw it. Patrick Mahomes has his, have his worst game of the season. And still yeah, and still almost throw 400 yards. <laughs> right. So, at this point, head above. Well, you think Chiefs are mad. Yeah, I'm mad saying Chiefs going to win it all. I mean, yeah. well, you ain't, might not hear no complaints about that. Unless, when Patrick, unless Patrick Mahomes gets a devastating injury, I don't care who else gets on the team. I don't care who else gets injured on the team. But if Patrick Mahomes gets a career-ending injury or he can't play in the playoffs – 
There is no reason the Kansas City Chiefs will not be in the Super Bowl again this year. Mark my word. I had them in the Super Bowl. I was just trying to see a contender. Okay, all right. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and okay. I'm gonna move over to the NFC real quick. We're gonna take a look here. Um, there's the teams in the NFC. Yes, in the NFC. Yes. Nobody in AFC. No, no one in AFC. So, no. so, so, um, of course, the Washington team that has no football name is at the top of the NFC East right now. But we already know since Alex Smith went down with an injury. That's not gonna happen. It might be the Giants. Now. The Giants are gonna make it out unless Jalen Hurts does some miracle where he goes on a wish. And the Eagles find a way out. It, it could happen. Why are we wasting our time on this Boo Boo division? I'm, I'm moving on Somebody now. I'm, scroll, I'm scrolling as we speak. I'm going to just, I'm gonna just keep scrolling. I'm just keep scrolling. So, yeah, exactly. um, the NFC West is going to be a fight between the Seahawks and Rams with the Cardinals coming in close, but they're not, they kind of fell off a little bit. So, they're not going to They gonna all go to the playoffs, though. So, three teams out of there can go? Yeah. They all in the playoff picture right now. They all in the playoffs right now. Three teams out of the West or just out of NFC period? Out of the West. Seven teams, remember? They added an extra team. So even though they're seven and six right now, they're going to the playoffs. Yeah, the Cardinals technically wouldn't have the best record outside of everybody else, outside of the division leaders. So yeah. One team is gonna have three teams in either way. Yeah, one wow. team will have three. I mean, one division is. Okay, so let's get to the, the division that you care about, Mr. Mr. Turner. Uh, the NFC North, where you have the Packers 10 and 3 and Vikings 6 and 7. That's a lot. The Packers are locked that down. Yeah, Packers, yeah. Vikings, I don't think we're going to – we need some help to get in now. Oh, that's right. They clinched it. That's right. that's right. They clinched it. I forgot. They yeah. threw us in the 1 and 5 hole to get a season. So now we six and seven. We still could go. Like I said, eight and eight. I'd be happy with that. But that's not playoffs. Wow, that you know that just changed my whole like where I was gonna go with that. So wow, that's, um... gonna make it in the NFC East. I'm gonna have one. So now you got still five other spots. Wow. And you got the Saints, Saints and spots, and then the NFC West. Yep. So Saints clinched theirs already. Saints clinched it. Well, I don't know if they clinched the division. They clinched the wild card. Yeah, I don't yeah. think they clinched the division. They only a game up. Yeah, they're two games well, up. I think they did clinch the playoff. I think they did clinch the playoff spot. I don't think they clinched the division yet, though. No, they clinched the wild card. Yeah, okay, they clinched okay. the playoff spot, though, okay. not the whole division. So um, still they're two them. games up, sir. Two. Because they beat them twice. Yeah, Saints beat Tampa Bay twice. Yeah. So yeah. Bucks are eight and five right now. Saints are ten and three. Yeah. So out of the NFC, uh, just by – if I'm doing it strictly off record alone, Packers are coming out. I mean, a lot of people say the Packers. I know some people say the Rams. Um, Defense, yes. Offense, I don't trust Jared Goff don't no farther Jared than you can throw him. I, w- I would say the Saints, but I don't know what Drew Brees going to bring me when he come back. And that's why I don't want to say the Saints because as of right now – I don't think Drew Brees is going to be uh, ready for postseason. I don't, lap lungs and stuff. I don't, think he, I don't think he's going to be 100% going into the postseason. I feel like that defense is real there, though. That Who, defense. The Saints? Yes. But that's why I, I, if I got to pick a defense, I'm picking the Rams defense. And if I pick a defense, I'm picking Rams defense. That's what I'm saying. If I got to pick a defense. Pick now, the Packers. best offense is, is probably the Saints. Packers. The combination with the Packers, offense. yeah. Oh, my gosh. That, that offense is crazy. But I think Aaron Rodgers makes more of the offense better. Than his talent, like the Saints and the Rams got talent. Ugh. But Jared Goff is trash. It was, is that Aaron Rod- I mean, Aaron Rodgers got Devontae Adams, Aaron Jones. Outside and, ta- of that, and, ta- and Tanyan. That's being nice. That's being nice. Aaron Rodgers makes him better than what he actually is. Right. <laughs> I don't even know the other ones. Marquise Bell, Scott Lee. Uh, 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 Valdez, Scott Lee. Scott Lee. They make all them better than what they – they, they weren't even drafted. Or like fifth and sixth round picks. I mean, if I'm looking at this as it is as of as of right now, I think the Packers are probably going to go to the Super Bowl. It's looking like Packers, and that's why I said it could be a State Farm Super Bowl because Aaron Rodgers. It'd be a great Rogers. Super Bowl. Great Super Bowl commercial. It'd be a great Super Bowl commercial. 
They probably already shot the Super Bowl. They probably already shot it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. They probably already got it ready. Um, that's what I see. Unless we get an upset, I I, that's what I see. Yes. I say, as yes. of right now, Packers and Chiefs. And uh, if that happens, it's gonna be a dog fight. But I gotta go with the Chiefs winning winning the yep. Super Bowl again. But I've decided yet. I made I the mistake. To... I made the mistake last year going with my Niners. And granted, they got there because nobody believed they was gonna get there. Nobody believed it. I, I rode the, the whole season. And you know, I know y'all, you y'all saw the outcome. So I don't want to have to go back and revisit that. That was that was painful to watch. Um, they were winning too. They were winning the game. Why oh, you re- I, I said I, I said I don't want to go back there. Why are you reminding me? I, <laughs> I was there. I saw the game. I watched it just like you did. He watched it with me at Super Bowl. <laughs> in a house full of uh, Chief fans. I'm the only Niner fan in the house. The only. But I was proud of myself because I predicted the Niners were going to Super Bowl from week one. And he said, Jimmy G, Super Bowl? Hell no. Nah. Like, he wasn't buying it. He wasn't buying it at all. But as they kept winning, I was like, I, I try to tell you, Jimmy G's nice, but he's not on Patrick Mahomes' level. Nice. Not a lot no more. Aaron Rodgers is, though. True. And I might go with Aaron Rodgers. Oh, wow. I might. Yeah. Hey, oh, I, wow. I, I got to see some more, but I might. I feel like if the we're talking about I- pure QBR, I would go with Aaron Rodgers, too. Patrick Mahomes, I think, is like Close Aaron Rodgers. I think that's where he learned a lot of his game, his football, his quarterback from. But you also I mean, gotta, if that's the case, you don't you gotta go with the original. You can't go with the carbon copy. You gotta go with the original. But he got better. He got better weapons. Yeah, he got better now, weapons. Now, got now, now, I'm not gonna argue that. When it <laughs> comes to an abundance of riches, Patrick Mahomes has everything a quarterback could ever ask for. Period. He can literally that's the problem. He literally has he a guy. pick whatever he wants. Off the, it's like a buffet line, right? He, he can tell a guy, run as far as you can. I'll just throw it. I'm from, throwing the, balls, from, like from, from the from the front office to the head coach to the paycheck, all the way down to the personnel, what more could he ask for? He has everything he needs. Everything. Andy Reid is going to let you be who you are. He's not oh, going to make you something you're not. So what, what can he ask for? I'm gonna leave that open. I don't know who I won't get. Huh? I guess I guess who'll get there first, but I do see the Chiefs. If the Chiefs and Packers, I still might go to the Packers. I think Aaron Rodgers will be hungry because he won't need that other one for his legacy. Yeah, career wise, he he yeah, has he, to get he, he has to get, get at 37. He has to get at least two rings. If he don't get it this year and in the next year or so, it, it might be done, it might be over for him. Facts. Um age, father time is tapping on his shoulders. They already got his replacement this year in the draft, so that's what I'm which, saying. Man, which I was, again, like, your time to like get your one and done. To Kerry's point, the quarterback that they drafted, the coach should have got. Yes, the coach should have got somebody. Yeah, that's about Jordan Love. Yeah, yeah. Jordan, Jordan yeah. Love or Jalen Hurts. Yep. Yeah, either one. Either like, one. You know, you're not getting love. Give twenty five million to fucking. My bad. Give yeah. twenty five million to uh, <laughs> to Phillip Rivers. That wasn't worth it. We could have put that into our offense, our defense, into something. But get rid of T.Y. Hilton. Hilton. Get a replacement for T.Y. Hilton. All of that. They about to do that anyway. They should have did it last year. Man, kept Eric Ebron. They no. got rid of Ebron. What? Get rid of Ebron. They should have got rid of him. They did. They did. Yeah. I like, they should have kept him. I thought they should have kept him. You. No. Oh, 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 no. I, no, no. I think um, to, to to your point, to let you know how wrong you are about saying that, I had Ebron on my fantasy team and he didn't do nothing for me. I dropped him immediately. Okay. And he was a diva too. Trash. To leave a coach. Trash. It was let so Mike weird. Tomlin deal with that diva in Pittsburgh. Like, we ain't we a, ain't I'm doing that over here. We went to Pro Bowl one to your career on our team. On the coach. Exactly. My point. And then he got hurt and was talking about T.Y. being hurt. You can't talk about her when you hurt. Yeah, at the end of the day, Ty is done. His body yeah. can't keep can't keep taking those hits. He's done. Um, it, whatever he was known for doing or what they got him for in the first place, he's no longer that guy. It's time to move on. Yeah, I agree, right? Um, and before we wrap this up, free to Sean Watson. 
<laughs> he said it every. He gonna keep saying free Deshaun to Watson to until Deshaun Watson is free. I don't think he ain't gonna never have to make forty million. That's such a sad, sad, sad situation. It's, oh, it's, it's all he gonna cry. Uh, he gonna cry. Crazy. He gonna cry on the sidelines. It's all Brian's fault. Bill O'Brien. It's all Bill O'Brien's fault. Billy B. It's all Billy B. fault. He did them so bad. They got no first round picks for the next two. He years. left them with nothing. Oh, they got no second round picks either. No first, he left pick. them Ooh. with nothing. Oh, and Will Fuller gets suspended. What the fuck? And Will Fuller got suspended for <laughs> the rest of the season and the yeah, first game of next released, season. Oh, when they, yeah. released, uh, they released Kenny Stills. Yeah, did no they way. release the other receiver? They released all, the all, 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 only thing that he has on offense is Duke Johnson as a running back. That's it. The old David Johnson. <laughs> and then they have a higher salary cap in the league. Yeah, because they paid the line. They played Tunsil on Kenny. Yeah. Block for nothing. So now Deshaun running for his life. Like, that's just a sad, yeah. sad, 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 sad situation. That's just – And I'll take, take all the money. I, ha- I, hate, I, hate to, I hate to break it down to y'all. They going to waste that man's prime. They going to waste his prime. Deshaun Watson doesn't match this. He matches this. And when you match this, you get screwed more times than not. They say, oh, he'll be okay. He's – He's one of them. He can handle whatever we throw at him. He'll be, he'll be okay. He got it. Yeah, nah. We we paid you. Okay. You're gonna you're gonna earn every red cent. We know we paid you like Patrick Mahomes, but Patrick Mahomes, he's different. He's different. You, he got all that. You're gonna you you work with what you got. You make you make yourself hot. We paid you now. You make it work. Put Deshaun Watson on the Chiefs. They would you put Deshaun good. Watson on the Chiefs with all with all the you weapons. What is doing? If man, yeah. listen, and Pac-12 do exactly what, what Deshaun is doing on Houston. They not going to the playoffs. He running for his life. I got one for you. Put Deshaun Watson on the Chicago Bears with their defense. I was just about to say that. I was just about to say that. Surprisingly, it's almost Super Bowl. I might put him in the Super Bowl. Nagy, Coach Nagy gets an extension. He's staying. Oh, he's in. Fight, but. <laughs> but you got Trubisky. Mm. Nick Foles ain't much better. So, I mean, uh, yeah, that's the reason. And Bill O'Brien. What is he? What is Bill O'Brien? <laughs> My point exactly. When you're a black quarterback, yeah. this is what you get. The only reason Jalen Hurts is starting right now while we're on the topic it's because Carson Wentz was trash all season. Sticking up the joint. They literally made it very clear the only way Jalen Hurts is going to start is if Carson Wentz got injured or if he just was trash. Something I drastic know. had to happen. Yeah, it was terrible. He was playing pretty bad. You're three, four, and one. Exactly. What do you expect? You got Jalen Hurts sitting around waiting. Ever so patiently, ever so humble. Look at what they did with Tua. They had to go six weeks in before they let him play. They let they Fitzpatrick win. go for six, and they let Fitzpatrick do his thing. And we yeah. already know what he can do. He's either Fitz magic or Fitz tragic, depending on what he's feeling that day. Right. So, again, I can't stress this enough. The reason why Baker Mayfield. Mitch Trubisky, guys like that, that get these multiple over and over again, chance after chance after chance after chance. Kirk Cousins before he became Captain Kirk, because he's part-time. Captain Kirk. Sometimes he's Kirk. That's Joe nickname. Um, Matt Stafford. I can name names all day long. Don't get me started. Matt Stafford, Matt Ryan, don't get me started. Uh, man, Matty Ice. Yeah, don't you get me know, started, guys um, that can – what he is. Guys that can lose games week in and week out and still be paid full price at the highest of value. Jared Goff, too. He in that, he in that conversation, too. Man. The only reason Jared Goff got paid is because of us on defense. Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey. Right. The defense got you paid. Your O-line got you paid. But had he been one of us, he wouldn't have got paid. He wouldn't be the highest paid quarterback in the league. The only right. exception to that rule is Russell Wilson, but 
the Seahawks, the Seahawks franchise is more of a what's the word I'm looking for? Culture. <laughs> they're Very with culture. the times. Uh, yeah. The Kansas City Chiefs, they're with the times. They understand we're taking over quarterback positions, and you're just going to have to get over it because we're better at it. That's just what we do. But there was a time, if you go back in history, where we weren't allowed to be quarterbacks. Right. And those of us that know the history oh, understand yeah. why we weren't allowed to be quarterbacks. We weren't allowed to be quarterbacks because the quarterback is the face of the franchise. We can't have y'all representing us. Y'all, y'all get down there and y'all tackle and get dirty, do all the dirty work. Before all the, the quarterback gets to shine. The quarterback gets to throw the ball. The quarterback saves the day with a game-winning touchdown. We want to have that shine. We let y'all take the NBA. We let Tiger go out there and play golf. Okay? We let Jackie Robinson go out there and steal first base. All right? We're not letting y'all take our football. This is our sport. How about them Cowboys? <laughs> Meanwhile, Andy Dalton over here getting concussions, helmets knocked off. When Dak that goes down, man and the at NFL. the same time, they didn't want to pay Dak because why? Dak's one of us. They about to pay him now, though. Oh, they have no choice because Andy Dalton to. is trash, garbage. The red rifle ran out of bullets. Man. Period. Uh, so and then they got they had this some creative player, some Madden creative player. What was it? He had two last names. Uh, what was his name? Galbert Gilbert? What was, what was, what was his name? Oh, yeah. I don't remember. He was a creative player. Like Gilbert, like Gilbert. Yeah, something like that. Galbert Gilbert? What was his name? I don't remember the dude's name. Blaine Gilbert? Blaine Galbert? No, no, he's talking about the dude from the Cowboys. The play oh, when okay. out. oh the yeah. Dude. Yeah, it was Gilbert Galbert. Or then something. they had the other dude, uh, Panucci. The, uh, the, yeah, uh, Dan, Dan Panucci. The, uh, <laughs> the Ricky from, uh, <laughs> oh, man. Where was he from? I don't remember now. James Madison. <laughs> no, the, the rookie from James Madison. That's what, that's what he used to call him. That's what, yeah. Panucci. <laughs> Panucci, yeah, something like that. That's crazy. Damn. I'm sorry. I have to laugh at Jerry's World. I see why Stephen A. laughs at Jerry's World every time we talk about the Cowboys. Because Jerry's World, Jerry's World is something else, man. Right. Something else down there. Hmm? It's a meltdown. Oh yeah, well you know it all started when you overpaid Zeke Elliott. You don't, you never pay a running back that much money ever. Their career span ain't that long. They screwed now, so yeah, and they're screwed and come back. They have one season primes. They prime for one season and they decline. Right. <laughs> they I mean, may prime, it, huh? I said they may prime for two seasons, but rather than that, they like a Todd Gurley, Zeke Elliott, mm. um. There's, there's a whole list. Yeah, running backs. Yeah, running backs don't last forever. You can't pay them that kind of money. You have to be reasonable. Like, look, there's a chance you might get hit one day, and you're not gonna feel the same after you get back up. Unless, unless you're a Christian McCaffrey and Alvin Kamara, where you're a dual back. When you when you can show you have multiple talents instead of just running the ball, you can catch it. Ran slant, run routes. Oh yeah, you deserve that bag. CMC is something special. Man, him, I hate this. I was like, I hate, huh? I was like, that's. I saw Alvin Kamara flash his teeth and show that ice tray he got in his mouth. And then when you see the way he plays, you're like, oh, okay, that's why he got that. That's why he got that. Yeah. Oh, okay, it makes sense now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you let us know you that guy, but then when you go out there on the field, oh, he's really that guy. Oh wow. Yeah, you're really okay. that guy. So, okay, he's that guy. He just over. <laughs> And take a whole team, the whole team to stop him, man. You still can't, man. So, so we all can agree as of right now, until we visit this again, we got the Packers and the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. Yes, I could probably agree with that. I guess, see, like I said, I guess it would do Greece come back. Well, could... yeah, that's a great marketing uh scheme from State Farm. Shout out to State Farm, that's a great, great it's marketing. Genius, work. Right? Your two guys are actually going head to head, and they're both pretty much the same person. One's just a little bit older than the other one. It's like a passing of the guard. Like, like yeah. does he still got it, or does he got to pass the torch to the young guns? Right. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice. I can see both of them going four hundred yards. I can see him. I can see it. Oh, I see. It. I see a gun slinging game. The defense. Oh, yeah, it's is- gonna be a lot of touchdown passes. Oh, that's for sure. 
the defenses are going to be mad. I mean, the defense is going to be a it's going to be a horrible defensive game. Horrible defensive game. All offense. It's going to be a shootout. Powerhouse left and right. Well, fellas, look, we gave more than enough to marinate on, so we're going to wrap this thing up. Carrie, thank you for joining us for the first time, and we look forward to having you back on here whenever you know whenever. your schedule appreciate. allows you to come back. To uh, so let them know where they can find you at. Um, you can find me. Actually, I'm the most anonymous nobody, so you can catch me on here, catch me out and about, and that's how we're Tom, about. Tom, Tom, why did I ask? I was just trying to be professional. I was just trying to be professional. All my information, all my information can be um be on my next episode when I get back on here. So when I get back on here, I will get my Instagram <laughs> tag. I will have my next name and everything. Right Tom, now, get the, Tom, get this man off my camera. <laughs> get this man. So off my all I'm gonna say soon. is, I'll see you guys soon. Don't oh, right, score fresh or wait. You can find me at Toss Letter, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And and this guy, if he comes back, you'll just see him when you see him. I, 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 I'll be back I next know. episode. GTA Heat Check, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, GTA Sports <laughs> Network. Subscribe to GTA Sports. Oh, YouTube, GTA Sports. And until next time, this has been GTA Heat Check.